the ball will travel faster, like from from all the contacts. It will not tra travel faster from reception, I guess, or defense, but mm -hmm. maybe in some cases even there. But uh, and the off like offense will be maybe it's not faster than like faster what the setters are doing now, but it will be faster from anybody setting. Like basically having six setters on the court and everybody providing the same skills and and it's a constant battle of like how many how many hands on block you can you can create like how less hands you can have against the attacker uh so i'm sure like that's something that i mean it already keeps happening it, there's not only one setter on the court when you watch like vnl also now like, there are lots of setters on the court for sure that's one one thing um then like just adding new skill sets that keeps happening you know every year all the time there's just new new serve skills new ways to kill the ball in attack there's new new variations on on setting there's new variation for tactics how how you play serving part you see you see guys hitting spins hitting spin to floats hitting float floats hitting float spins like all all different variations and and everything is is, is much about like this is something Anders was talking about already years ago volleyball is much about looking the same and being able to do many things so i mean that goes in for sure like offense part of volleyball can you really because the, the better the players is much more about reading seeing the details finding the cues from the opponent and then can you look the same and do many things from that same look yeah. the better you read the better you understand like it goes layers and layers deeper can you find two dot solutions can you find fake hit set solutions can you find like new patterns in the game And you just find those new patterns because you want to create like a moment of surprise for the opponent. You want to create less less hands. I mean, that's like let's use that as a clear idea that if you have more hands, your efficiency will be lower, and less hands, and you know you have a better chance of of killing the ball. In theory, at least, if you control what you're doing. So I mean, just finding different different ways, like always staying one step ahead of the opponent, and that's already ha it's happening a lot. I guess. Some teams have system for these things. I guess some teams allow players to create their own yeah, freestyles. Yeah. So in any in any way, how, how it is like that's that will keep happening for sure more and more and more, and that will break like the the frame of what is volleyball. I mean, volleyball is not bumps at spike only. Many times it is, but it can be mm -hmm. so much more too. Then I think like the big the big thing. What I want to see, I hope I hope there's a there's a time and place for this but i really think teams will start playing without libero and like you put all the physicality and all the all the speed of offense and you go back to times when you play with five attackers and like that will be offense mayhem <laughs> but basically i think then you also will you will try to create new roles like it's not the conventional volleyball roles anymore maybe you need to create like a hybrid role or or a mix of different different roles on the court or whatever it is but that's that's something i just see big advantage of having five attackers or if you're able to hit with the second touch like potentially it's six attackers against three blockers and mm -hmm. you know i like that <laughs>